Hello everyone, my name is Shania. I am part of the Center of Advising and Academic Success team, well known as CAS. And this time we're going to meet Professor Jeff Lujin, who is going to talk us to, um, about the Computer Science Department. So before starting our interview, uh, Professor Lujin, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, um, my name is Jeff Lujin. I'm a professor here at Whittier College in the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. I've been here for about 27 years, something like that, a long time. Right, so here at Whittier we have what's called the Integrated Computer Science Program. So it's actually three different majors. You can do an Integrated Computer Science major in conjunction with Mathematics or Physics or Economics. So we have the ICS Physics, the ICS Mathematics, and the ICS um, we have the ICS Physics, ICS Economics, and ICS Mathematics majors. So the way those work is there's a core of computer science courses, computer science and math, about eight courses, and then about six courses in the other disciplines. So if you're doing ICS Physics, it would be about six physics courses. And those computer science courses include everything from a first year Computer Science 1, Computer Science 2 introductory sequence, mm -hmm. uh, data structures and algorithms, operating systems, computer architecture and organization, machine learning, artificial intelligence, robotics, microcontrollers, mm -hmm. uh, and a senior project course. Yeah, that's a great question. So in the ICS program at Whittier, we try to emphasize projects that that involve collaboration and, and teamwork and creativity. So students might do a project where they have to work together to create, let's say, a, a, a fast and efficient autocomplete function for a search engine, or maybe use a, a mark, something called a Markov chain model to produce computer-generated text in the style of some particular author like uh, Lewis Carroll or, or Mark Twain or even Shakespeare something like that. And the senior project students work independently to build something or create something of their own design. So last year some of our seniors, some examples of senior projects include things like uh, one student wrote a, uh, she wrote a, what would you call it, a, uh, a web app that, that allowed the user to do shuffle play of YouTube search results. Um, another student developed a prototype for a smartwatch using Android micro microcontrollers and a, and a printed circuit board of his own design that he had built. Um, another student wrote a, a piece of software that used machine learning artificial intelligence techniques to teach the computer to recognize different styles of, of animations, like different artists' styles of animation. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So, just for example, the, some of the graduates from last year's graduating class, let's see, there was a, one got a job as a software engineer at Amazon, uh, another as a, cl a cloud engineer at TikTok, and a software engineer job at Google, just to name a few. Yeah, well, these days, you know, it's good to know as many languages as possible, and that the same is true in computer science. So, I say one thing that's cool about our program is you'll you definitely come out being multilingual. So, students in our in the ICS program get exposed to like a variety of of important languages, programming languages like C, C plus plus, Python, Java, and uh, assembly language, just to name a few. That was really interesting, Professor Lutin. So thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for the interview. It was really nice to meet you and thank you all for watching.